Welcome everyone. Uh, this will be a short video. I would like to correct or clarify a small mistake what I did in some of my previous videos. So I built this uh, power supply a few months ago and uh, the basic principle of this power supply is that I have a main power supply which is a 12 volt and 30 ampere power supply. And then uh, the output of this uh, power supply is connected to two uh, DC-DC uh, converters. So I can regulate the output voltage and the output cor current on two channels. And at the same time, I'm using uh, two one each uh, power meters on each side of this uh, power supply. And I measure the output voltage and I measure the current which flows through the load. And then comes the problem. So this is the manual of this uh, power meter. And there are three different uh, connections that you can use to power the power meter because it has a screen and some internal electronics uh, which uh, need some power. And then also you have to connect it uh, to the uh, circuit, to the load. So there are five wires uh, for this power meter. There are three thin wires and uh, there are two thick wires. And obviously the thick wires for the uh, measurement of the current and the thin wires are for measuring the voltage and also measuring the, or sorry, or and also uh, used as a power supply uh, for the power meter only. And then where I did the mistake that uh, I considered uh, this drawing uh, and I used this drawing for my circuit. So what I did, I connected uh, the plus and minus input uh, for the power meter uh, to the output of this uh, main power supply. And because I thought that this can be regarded as an isolated power supply. And then I connected the uh, yellow or uh, orange line to the positive output of my uh, power supply. So basically the red uh, connection here. And then of course I connected the negative uh, side and the positive side accordingly here. But this is wrong because this power supply cannot be regarded as an isolated power supply. So if I measure the current which flows through the load, uh, it will be measured in a wrong way. So what we have to do is we have to consider between these two uh, connections. So we don't need to connect this black wire anywhere. So I made, I isolated it by using a small heat shrink tube on both sides. And what I did here is basically I uh, realized the two different designs. And uh, there is one small uh, difference between these two. Uh, on the left hand side, I put this. And basically what we have is that uh, on the positive uh, side of this, and this green guy here is the DC-DC converter. So this is not shown uh, anywhere in, the, in, in this drawing. So what I did here is the voltage and the power supply uh, rails. So this is the VCC and this is the V in, if you check the back panel of these power meters. So these guys are connected to the same uh, thing, which is the positive output for the load. But in this case, you cannot go down below five volts uh, at the output because otherwise the screen will not turn on because this uh, power meter needs at least five volts to yeah, power the screen. On the other hand, this design, which is here, and I also put this uh, something here on the screen because I make made a different drawing which includes this. So if you want to build this wall thing, uh, everything will be more clear. So uh, on the right hand side, uh, uh, using this DC DC converter, I use this. But here, what it what happens is that uh, this drawing expects you to use some main 
power supply and then use a separate DC DC converter just to uh, power the uh, power meter. But what I did here, as you can see it on the drawing, that and also here, I'm using this uh, main power supply to power the power meter and then I connect everything accordingly. So this now here is the DC DC converter and then the positive output of the DC DC converter is connected to the yellow or orange line. So we measure the voltage on the positive output of the DC DC converter and then uh, the positive also directly uh, goes to the positive output which is the banana plug here and then uh, of course we go to the load uh, the current flows to the load and then uh, it comes back to the power meter so basically uh, this side becomes uh, the red cable of the power meter which is the negative side or the black banana plug on the output uh, down here and then uh, the black uh, wire comes out from the uh, power meter and then it goes back to the negative of the DC DC converter so here this is the DC DC converter basically and this main power supply is a bit uh, different so I uh, used this drawing and draw drew another version where uh, these things are like correct or visualizing this kind of circuit and then uh, to show you that this is the perfect uh, or this is the correct solution uh, I will connect the load to this guy here and uh, I just measure the current and compare it uh, to the current shown on the screen so I assemble the circuit and all I need to do is to connect it to the mains but before that let's go through the circuit again so what I do here is uh, I measure the current with this uh, multimeter now so and the input of the uh, the positive input of the multimeter is connected to the positive output of this uh, output of the uh, power supply and then uh, the negative side will go inside the load here and then the negative side of the load will end up on the negative side of this and that is uh, connected the to the red cable of the power meter here and then that uh, is going out from the power meter as the black wire which is connected to the negative side so this is a huge uh, serial uh, serial connection so now I just turn on this by connecting it to the mains and uh, I increase the current a little bit so now this shows uh, 1.2 amperes and this is showing 1.3 so more or less uh, the same and if I increase then uh, this is 2.0 amperes and 2.0 something so it, it is showing the same basically within an acceptable uh, range of error so 2.4 2.4 so it's roughly the same and uh, I can feel that this device, the Peltier device, is going very cold now. So 2.4, 2.3. So you can see 2.3, 2.3. So the, it's more or less uh, the same uh, value. So if I go down, then this is showing 0 0.5, and this is like 0 0.6 amperes. So it is more or less the same as you can see so this works and even if I go down to 1.3 watts uh, the screen is still on while uh, you can see that the, this screen is not on and I connected it accordingly uh, according to this drawing uh, on the uh, bottom left corner so if I turn up the voltage then this turns on you can see and if I turn it down it turns off so 
this design should be uh, followed which is basically this or the one which I show it show on the screen now uh, which I redo according to my circuit but you can see that uh, at small uh, currents there is a small discrepancy between the two values but if I crank up the current 1.1 on both uh, screens so this can be accepted I, I, I would say so yeah this drawing was on this side and you could see that I had to turn up uh, the voltage about 5 watts in order to turn on the screen so this this is not a good design except you use something which is always about 5 watts and then on the right hand side uh, we can start with the minimum output voltage uh, of the DC DC converter because the uh, V in uh, rail so the thin red line is always at 12 volts so it will be always on so I hope that this video was useful and uh, you can use this power meter uh, properly, not like me, so you can connect it properly to the uh, proper connections. So see you in the next video.